Hi, boys and girls. So today we are starting with um, learning how to edit and make changes to a Google slide. It's one of the very first things we're going to do. You have taken a couple tutorials around your Google Classroom. You've learned a little bit about working with computers. You've gotten to watch a YouTube video so far, maybe in your classroom. Now you are going to do a little review work with a very easy worksheet, and then you're gonna to get to make some edits. Now, what we're gonna do first is you're gonna watch me do the whole thing like we're in our classroom. We're just gonna pretend it's under our Elmo screen and it's up on the board, and then you're going to open the very next Google slide and you get to do it all on your own. Everyone will get their very own and you will get to turn it in. But first, watch me and then you get to do it. So you'll open the Google slide that's right attached to the assignment. Right up here, it will say type here for your name and you will, let's make this a little bit bigger for you. And you can do this too. You can go here into zoom and make it bigger. Right here where it says type here, I've put that so that you know, and I'm gonna just hit my delete or my backspace and I'm gonna type my name there so I know that this is my paper, Mrs. Sexton. And right here for the date, I'm going to delete or backspace and remember we type our entire date we no longer type the digital date because we are big first graders and today i believe we are putting this assignment in for monday our very first day to learn how to do a google slide which is monday april 20th comma 2020 and we cannot abbreviate like we did when it was 2019, we have to type out all four of those digits, 2020. Now, I can use my cursor arrows and go down or use my mouse and scroll down. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the directions on the side of this. And it says, have students read each sentence and write the words from the word box that best fits the sentence. So first I'm gonna read those words. And my words are, Let's see if we can point to them. Her, clerk, round, coin, verb, pause, scoops, food. Let's read them again. You read with, read with me this time. Her, clerk, round, coin, verb, pause, scoops, food. So then we just figure out which word sounds the best. So let's read our first sentence. The plate is, the plate is, and I can type in my box right here, and then I'm going to start typing. The plate is, is the plate her, clerk, or round? The plate is round and I'm going to start typing round. The plate is round and then I just type out. Now what happens if I type in this box and then I accidentally make the box go away? Where'd it go? Just like in one of our previous videos that we may have already seen, whenever we make a mistake we just go back. So we're going to go way up here and you see this back arrow? You just go and my box shows back up. I'm going to click inside the box and I'm going to get ready to type. The blank gave her, the blank gave her, hmm. So I need to find something that means like a person. What's like a person up here? Is it verb, clerk, pause? The blank gave her. Click in my box. The clerk gave her. The clerk gave her. Let's do number three together. Dogs have what? What do dogs have? I'm gonna go back up to my box. Let's look at my words. Verb, pause, scoops. Well, I see my dog over there laying down right now and I can see that my dog has paws. And if you have a dog at home right now because you're working from your home, you can probably see that your dog too has paws. Paws. I would like three 
Hmm. I would like three what? I would like three what? Well, let's find some words we haven't used yet. We haven't used her, verb, or scoops. I would like three scoops. I would like three scoops. Three scoops of ice cream would be delicious. I finished the first slide and then I can just go to the next one. Now the really fun thing about Google Slides is you don't have to save at all. Right up here it tells me that all changes have already been saved. So I don't have to do anything. I'm gonna read these sentences for you and then you are going to be able to do the rest of it on your own. I can cook a lot of, pick the word that works best, blank, dad is at home. Blank, dad is at home. Now remember, this word is going to start a sentence, so you will have to change one of these letters from a lowercase letter to a capital letter. I will flip a, I will flip a, what's something in that box you can flip? Is this word a, is this word a, what are some words we've been learning about? What types of speech have we been learning about? What can you remember? Let me read these words for you one more time before I post this assignment for you. Her, clerk, round, coin, verb, pause, scoops, food. Okay, if you have any questions, just type them out for me and I'll be here to help you. Bye-bye, boys and girls.